Welcome to Heat Check, powered by Defunct.com. These are the highest selling vintage t-shirts over the last two weeks. All right, starting us off at number 10, we have the 1993-94 Smashing Pumpkin Siamese Dream t-shirt. This, this guy said it's one of one on the web. Uh, I've never seen this one before, actually, so uh, maybe he's right. Rad vintages. Uh, let's take a look at this thing. This thing looks sick. This is one of the cooler uh, Smashing Pumpkin tees I have seen, um, for sure. I mean, as far as I can tell, it's probably legit. I don't know. Um, I don't know if he's authenticated it, but he clearly does not seem to believe there's, he hasn't found any else, any other record of this t-shirt. Um, I haven't looked just yet. I may do it in a little bit. <coughs> um, it is a bit tattered. We definitely have some damage on the collar, which is a bit of a bummer. The graphic seems like it's in good condition. A few holes. Otherwise, a super, super cool and dope shirt. Definitely one of the cooler Smashing, smashing Pumpkins tees that I have seen. Um, he put it at, at auction, but ultimately this one only sold for $1,000. At number nine, we have a, a Fruit of the Loom Stanley DeSantis Rockets and Space t-shirt. Uh, this one's fascinating because I have never seen this one before. It, uh, it's actually not on a Stanley DeSantis tag like you would normally expect. Um, but here you have a Stanley DeSantis uh, copyright, so the art is obviously Stanley DeSantis. The graphic is super cool. It's got the all over print, but basically everything above the you know chest is uh, just a little bit of paint splatter. Otherwise, the graphic is super cool. Uh, curious, the, these photos <laughs> they're dated uh, the first or the the second day of 2012. I'm fairly certain that just must be a camera error. Uh, here we have the Atomic, let's look at the back. It actually has Atomic Wear for Tomorrow. So if you know anything about the history of this t-shirt, because I don't, and let's see. He doesn't necessarily give you much history on the t-shirt. Uh, so uh, let us know in the comments below, because this one's super cool. And after 18 bids, it sold for $1,037. All right, another newcomer to the list. We haven't seen an Edward Scissorhands t-shirt make the list, I don't believe. Maybe a long time ago. This one looks like it's in excellent condition. Uh, Edward Scissorhands, a uh, classic film of the early 90s. Uh, out of the mind of Tim Burton, I believe, right? Um, anyway, this uh, size, what, XL? XL, even better. Size XL. Gotta love it. Uh, this is one of my favorite tags. Let's see he's got any information on it. The shirt made high quality materials. Cool. <laughs> and it features unique graphics. People are using these AI descriptions, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, single stitch, good size. Uh, definitely a cool t-shirt. Doesn't come up very often. This one sold for $1,050. Then next up, we have probably my favorite Alice in Chains design. Uh, it's even better in the long sleeve. I think I've seen it in the short sleeve before, but the long sleeve is even better in my opinion. Look at these colors. Obviously, the Alice in Wonderland. Um, I love the graphic here, the spell out here on the back. It's just, I don't know, something about it just looks like really aesthetically pleasing. Um, and you have the the sleeve hits, which are like super, like super perfect in terms of like uh, going with the fit. Uh, this one looks like it's in great condition. I mean, beautiful condition, really. Um, this is a, this is a, this is a good one. This is a banger for sure. Um, and it sold for $1,043 and 25 cents. Well deserved. Then next up we have the Halloween Michael Myers movie t-shirt. Uh, this one we've seen a, a before, haven't seen in a while. Uh, but I'm a bit disappointed and a bit sus about some of these photos, like, they're like all super duper cropped for, in a weird way um, on the Toltex. Like this little bit, you know, obviously this is an older like 90s tee um, on the Toltex cotton here. Um, it looks like it's in really good condition. The unholy grail of Michael, Michael Myers t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no fading or cracking. That's great. The core, I'd be really concerned about, uh, I'd be really concerned about dry rot if it's that good a condition on a black tee like this. Um, so I don't know either way. Uh, don't love the photos. I don't know what the deal is. 
definitely would have turned me off. But uh, either way, this one did sell for $1,219.78. Haha. Then next up, we have the Sade King of Sorrow t-shirt. Sade always making it high on this list. But we have not seen this particular design, uh, I don't think, ever on the list. Uh, so this one's really cool. Uh, the, love the color graphics on the AAA 2001 license giant without the giant tags. This is obviously a giant graphic. Uh, it looks like it's in fantastic condition. I mean, uh, again, one of those sort of dead stock things that I'd be like concerned about dry rot. Let's see if they mention anything about dry rot. No flaws. They don't. But just that dark, you know, that black ink kind of gives that sheen. I'd be a little concerned. Definitely would want to ask first. Uh, before I made a play on this one, but someone did and they got it for $13.50 All right next up we have the butthole surfers we do see this band quite often uh, But almost never the same t-shirt <laughs> twice, which is pretty cool. Uh, they had a lot of great designs obviously a wacky one here uh, Definitely try the guys trying it on looks like it's a good size Tour T here. Let's see size XL great on the nice man tag, sick. Uh, looks like it's in fantastic condition, like scary good condition, brand new. Yeah, has been washed or take out storage stains. So it's been washed once, So, uh, but dead stock other than that. So uh, new without tags, yeah, I guess you could, you could say that. If you had stains, I'd be a little concerned. But either way, uh, this one did just fine. It sold for $1,700. All right, then we have the Vintage Minor Threat t-shirt. This is probably my favorite t-shirt on the list today. Uh, I was a big Minor Threat fan back in the day. Uh, this one from the 1980s, let's take a look at it. Uh, yes, the graphic is super cool. Love the color splatter painting on it all over the place. Uh, this, I think, is a fairly rare one. Uh, made. Uh, this is, uh, I forget that RN. It's, I think this is like Fruit of the Loom or something like that. Um, single stitch here. It's a couple little stains, not bad. Uh, either way, uh, this one came out of Malaysia, I believe. Yeah, Malaysia. Yeah, Malaysia. This one came out of Malaysia. Uh, incredible T-shirt. Definitely one of the Grails that uh, I always want to have. Uh, this one sold for uh, twenty-one fifty. Then next up at number two, we have the Vintage Melvins t-shirt, which is basically ripping off uh, the Misfits here on the front. Fiend Club. Then on the back side, you can see that they are ripping off the uh, uh, Black Flag logo, and we got nothing better to do. Uh, the line from uh, the song TV Party, uh, Boner Records, uh, hilarious. Uh, the, the Melvins, uh, always uh, funny, uh, always being very ironic here. Uh, this one, uh, cool t-shirt. Not, not, probably not my favorite Melvins tee, but... Uh, the the other punk references are pretty cool. It seems like it's in really clean condition, like very clean for a white T-shirt this old. So um, sounds good to me. Uh, the person who pay, uh, ultimately bought it spent twenty five hundred dollars on this T-shirt. So congratulations. Now, you know that we had recently retired the Nirvana t-shirts, uh, particularly the In Utero tees, uh, but we had to bring this one on for number one because A, it is rare, and B, uh, it sold for a ton of money. Here we have the Nirvana In Utero Blue Wing European Tour t-shirt size XL. Uh, let's uh, take a look here, size yeah, XL. Uh, down here, it gives a little bit of information. Super rare. Do your research before offering. This is one of the rarest t-shirts besides Nirvana Heart Shape Box Backstage Pasty, which I think we may have actually seen before on the list. It may have been a while. Um, the story goes on Nirvana's last leg of the European tour for the Alvin Uter. They're running low on ink to print the rest of the t-shirts, and that's why a few of them had blue ink. Cool. This one actually did, I believe, go through the legitimate process from what I understand, and... Uh, was authenticated so uh, always a good idea to do that with t-shirts this rare and uh, this valuable because ultimately somebody paid five thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars and it appears that it did go overseas so incredible sale uh the highest sale of the year i believe 
uh, at this point. So uh, congratulations to uh, Rommel's Kicks and uh, whoever ended up actually buying this t-shirt because it is something else to see. Incredible t-shirt.